Eating a low carb diet puts your body in a state that favors fat burning. But what if you are not losing weight on a low carb diet? There are some stumbling blocks that can easily trip you up when you go low carb. In this video, I'll show you how to avoid common mistakes so you can get the results that you want. Whenever you are working toward a goal, there will be days that it is easy to stay on track. Your schedule works out, your motivation is high, and while you might still need to be focused, you know that today was a good day and you made progress towards your goal. However, there will also be days that challenge you. Uh, you had a restless night's sleep, you're being pulled in five different directions at work, and when you open up the refrigerator, nothing looks good. In these times, it is easy to tell yourself that you deserve a little break and that it's okay to loosen your low carb rules as long as you get back on track tomorrow when life is sure to be easier. But when we do this, we take a step backward and instead of seeing your weight go down, it stalls. The solution is to schedule a free day. Uh, you know, the interesting thing is that I believe that taking a break is a good idea. However, the trick is to schedule your free day so that it is built in rather than taking off on a whim. In my weight loss programs, I show members how to utilize 40 day short term goals with every 41st day being a day without rules. Uh, and if you want to understand more about why I use 40 day diet cycles, I touch on it in the free video series that I have on my website and you can follow the links here to find that. But what you'll find is that your scheduled free day puts you in control rather than the circumstances around you being in control. It creates a target that you want to hit and having that clear target gives you the strength to say, no, thank you even on the most challenging days. The next mistake that is easy to fall into is thinking that everything labeled keto friendly is okay. A keto diet is a very low carb, high fat diet. Keto has become a buzzword for weight loss because of the popularity and effectiveness of the diet. As a result, we now see a lot of recipes and packaged foods labeled as being keto friendly. And this is welcomed by many because it provides variety, but just because something says it can fit into your low carb or keto diet doesn't mean it will help you lose weight. Many of the recipes and products that have been modified to make them keto friendly do so by keeping the fat content high and reducing the carb content by using sugar substitutes like allulose or sugar alcohols. These modified foods tend to be high in calories and they are sweet making you want to eat more of them. The solution is to cut the sweetness, not just the sugar. Sugar is a diet destroyer. Uh, when we eat it, it causes a spike in blood sugar and insulin levels, causing fat to be stored rather than released. Sugar is also an addictive substance that dulls your taste buds and alters your brain chemistry, making you feel as if you need more and more of it to feel good. Keto-friendly snacks remove the sugar, but they don't remove the sweetness. Continued exposure to that sweet quality keeps your sweet tooth alive, making you want to keep eating these high calorie treats. And here's something else to consider. Uh, there is a phenomenon referred to as the cephalic phase insulin response. The term cephalic refers to your head. So in its simplest translation, this is an insulin response that is all in your head and has nothing to do with the sugar level in your blood. Uh, what causes this response is simply having something sweet in your mouth, even if that sweetness is coming from a non-caloric sugar substitute. So the takeaway is that sugar-free doesn't mean carefree. These substances have an impact on your brain, body, and metabolism, presenting you with challenges that make weight loss more challenging. The next mistake that is almost human nature is something I refer to as carb creep. It is the tendency to allow more carbs into your diet as your diet progresses. Low carb diets work because they rob your body of the easy to burn carbohydrates, forcing it to burn fat for fuel. When you first start a low carb diet, you are keenly aware of everything that you put in your mouth, but humans are creatures of habit. And as you move along, it is easy to drop into mindless eating habits that allow a few extra carbs to creep into your daily carb count. The solution is to track your carb intake. 
Uh, if you're not losing weight on a low carb diet, take a few days to track how many grams of carbs you are actually taking in and then reduce the number until the scale is moving again. While this can feel like a bit of a chore, it can also be a valuable learning experience that helps you uncover hidden carbs in foods that really shouldn't have uh, sugar or carbohydrates like salad dressing or beef sticks, for instance. Another thing that can derail your low carb diet is your expectations. When you first start a low carb diet, results come quickly. Some of that initial weight loss is fat loss and some is water loss. When you reduce the grams of carbohydrates you are eating, your body responds by lowering your insulin level. When insulin is low, your kidneys flush sodium and water out of your body. Water is heavy, so when it is excreted, you notice a relatively quick drop in the number on your bathroom scale. It's easy to get caught up in the enthusiasm of this fast weight loss and think that it will continue. However, your body will reach a point of water balance slowing weight loss, but not necessarily fat loss. Yet this presents us with a challenging mental hurdle because it takes longer to shed fat than it does to shed water, making it easy to think that something went wrong. How fast fat loss happens for you is unique to you. Factors like advanced age, past dieting history, and certain conditions like insulin resistance, menopause, and hypothyroidism can slow the rate at which fat loss happens. Uh, and uh, this can be frustrating, uh, especially if you have a friend or family member who is getting faster results. The solution is to run your own race. You know, comparison is a dangerous thing. Whether your body sheds two pounds a week or a half a pound a week, you are moving in the right direction. Your body is the one you've got and it is doing the best it can with the resources that it has available to it. Keep your focus and you will reach your goal. If you've been trying to follow a low carb diet on your own, but not getting the results you want, it will help to have a plan to follow. On my website, I have 21 day challenges that email you low carb and keto menus that take all of the guesswork out of what to eat. Uh, if you're interested, you can follow the links here in the video and below in the description area. Please join my channel by clicking the subscribe button and thanks for watching.